Get my ball. Good boy. Yep. PR lifestyle is more than just hitting a PR on the squat bench or deadlifts. A PR could be going a week without skipping a meal. It's about being the best version of yourself, always improving. Welcome back to the channel guys. Here we are at Fitness Mania in Riverside with Ryan. We have Mike the owner right here and a very special guest from the UK, Birmingham to be in particular, a behemoth, a dinosaur, all natural, <laughs> 375 pounds or so, super bench presser that you're going to attempt a PR of what? Yeah, um, so I might see if I can push 680 today. Um, if I can't, then probably go for a rep PR on 500. Um, we'll just send it, we'll see how we do. I also might show you a little trick on incline, something I don't recommend, but I'll show you. Well, I'll leave that close now, it could be a surprise. Okay, <laughs> well, I like surprises. So, this guy is born in December of 94, just like myself, and we have identical PRs. For example, yeah. we've both done a 675 bench, we've both done a 500 bench for 12, we've both done a 405 bench for exactly 26 yeah. reps. <laughs> but he does have me beat on the incline, so whatever secret you have for that, <laughs> please share with us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> awesome. So without further ado, we're going to head inside, smash this killer bench workout. I haven't been doing much flat bench, mostly just reps, so I'm going to be going for like 4 or 5 for hopefully 10, 15, maybe 20 plus. We'll see what happens, whatever yeah. coach lets happen. <laughs> you know, this is the man in charge for today. Um, big boss over here though. Whatever you need, I'm we got free balling. You. I'm just sending it. Let's go. All right, we got plenty of spotters here today. I'm plenty excited. of hype. Yeah. All right, let's get it started. Let's get it. All right. What flavor is it? Lemonade. Okay. I want to see if I can be our. <laughs> Ready, Baker? said all natural in your yeah. Instagram bio, I've seen you. Exactly. I mean, you're just built different. You're just not a regular just, person. So, I, genetically, so my younger brother, when he was 17, he was benching 405, no problem. All natural. Um, all natural. How big was he at 17? Um, he's about six foot. He's super wide, he had a big frame. Um, I would say he was probably about 104 kilo. Okay. So he was a big kid. Um, so, I mean, I never got to lift until I was 22, the last six years. Um, and that was just, I only started to lose weight. I never cared about lifting weight, so I just wanted to lose weight. And then I fell in love with bench press. And the rest is history. Your mother gave natural birth to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the real credit. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Alright. 
Oh yeah, that's how you eat full size, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's not, it's a bite-sized Rice Krispie. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> nearly 400 pounds, dude. That's like the size of your finger. I had three of these and two Nutri-Grain balls, and I was good to go. But everybody's going to start eating that before they PR. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find Rice Krispie wrappers all over Jim Ford in America. You want to talk? Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll get it with my phone. Please, that'd be great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right, ready to go. Camera up right here. Come on, Come on ladies. Let's go. You sure that's a <laughs> bar you're giving me? <laughs> Wait, I didn't give you anything. <laughs> Not too fucking shabby. My best is 26. No. 25 pounds heavier. <laughs> that was a speedy. Only four up to my best in shots. <laughs> I haven't even trained bench. <laughs> when was that song like you went heavy? <laughs> four or five months? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I had a, yeah, adrenaline from the crowd too, from yeah. yourself. Right. Wow. I don't get to train with big bunches too often. Yeah. Thank you. How's that? Yeah, good. Okay, good. Yeah. Sorry, I have to let the blood flow so I can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's, this one's cramped. I like this one. Okay. You can't be shy. No, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on! 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 Five and a half? Yeah, probably. Sounds good. What, what's the conversion? I don't even know what the conversion is on it. This, this would be uh, 545. Yeah, 545. Yeah, that's cool. So I think this was in the UK. This would be... About 250, about 250 kilo? You got any much? Do you do any more drop sets or are you? I'm good there, man. <laughs> Show's all you, bro. <laughs> Steve, is all yours. Good. I start take after this after this set I'll probably do a slightly longer rest period just to go yeah. up. Okay. Um, no. What's up? Bro, I'm just gonna you know, put it in the universe yeah. but I put it on TikTok last night that I was training with him today and I had about 200 comments straight away saying bro's gonna get injured. Bro's getting injured. <laughs> and I said I'm gonna be the first one that never no way. No I mean we have to uh, break the cycle. <laughs> break the cycle. <laughs> break the cycle man. I mean look if they think this is getting me injured, wait till we go to Inclough. <laughs> oh shit, wow. Oh, we're I, don't know, I don't know if you've seen it, but you might have seen a video of me doing clap bench press. Yeah, man, that's gonna get me killed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> then, we'll be fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll sign this guy in I gotta contact my health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you should just watch. Don't try. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna watch. Yeah, yeah just I'm watch. Just don't do it. Yeah. He literally does a 315, throws it up, claps, and catches it. Wow. I did it with uh... <laughs> Yeah, I got a video. <laughs> but the thing is, a lot of people think like, it's something to do with. I mean, obviously, there's, there's explosive power plays a massive part, but realistically, it's just technique. 
it's just if you can master the technique, you're good. But at the same time, I wouldn't recommend anybody trying that. But what if you make a mistake? Like, do you give it a I mean, chance? Uh, not really. Uh, you can make a mistake, you've done that. So. I'm going to do it today with like the 15 pound curl bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try it. Well, I'm like, about it. Okay, you ready? Do it. Come on. I win. There we go. I could feel the whip though. I felt the whip that time. We could see the whip. I felt the whip straight away. Mm -hmm. Damn. Hmm. Still good though. Six, let's go. Alright, say no more. I felt only a little, not too much, but just as I came up about three inches off the chest, I felt the whip in. But that's gonna happen. Hmm. It's not the first time I've benched on, on, you know, on the whippy bar, so probably good. What bar did you hit 672 on? Texas power bar. Texas power, yeah. yeah. I just think, and I suppose it's one of the biggest things about bench press is people don't consider how many small intricacies there is to a bench press, whether it's the width of your bench or the way you grip or the quality of the bar, so many things by a bar. So I went from, I went from benching in a commercial gym and only benching like 265, 270 kilo to getting on a, on a comp bench with a power bar and putting like 30 kilo on in probably four or five months. <laughs> so it's just a setup, it was just a setup difference in the way I could like activate my lats more, wider bench, etc. So Absolutely. I mean, imagine trying to do a big bench with a standard commercial gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where yeah. you can't even adjust the rack height properly. Literally, yeah. yeah. I hate to say it, but it looks like seven plates very much within reason today. That's gonna look so aesthetic. Seven plates, man. <laughs> we'll see. I need to see. one way to find out. Yes, sir. And like you said, like, I, I don't get to spot like crazy benches too often. Obviously, I've tried, like I said, my training partner is a super good bencher. Um, and I try, you know, he, it's cool spotting him. Um, but when there's a crowd like this and someone's going for a rep, guys, yeah, fucking insane. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I mean, the adrenaline right now is probably almost as good as a competition. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. seen less people at uh, meets than yeah, right here. Real, right for now. real, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I warm up, I'm super slow to get hot. So, like I said to you, I'll do singles and doubles. Or just sometimes I'll just send singles. It depends how I feel. Um, but sometimes, like, I've had it where I've attempted six plates in a session and failed it. And then gone down to five and a half and gone back up and then doubled it. And it's just because I've got the blood running and I'm feeling good. Um, a lot of the time it's just commitment to, I think, like 20, no, sorry, like 80% of like hitting heavy weight is mental for me. Oh, anyway. 100%. But that's where ammonia comes into play. Where you're like, ah, oh, where something could go wrong, blah, blah, blah. Fuck it, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, you want my biggest in your yeah? yeah. You got I mean, some of the Jujis, ah. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm throwing, I'm throwing Eddie's, you know, the world's strongest. Like, yeah, that's They're strong, but they're not. I won't call them, I've had stronger sorts. I'm a bit scared of those. That they, <laughs> they're scaring me. But in a good way. Keep it like here. Right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> Nasal inside the bar. Don't tell me that now. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I've had this for like six months. I just picked through it. But usually when I get up to this weight, I stop feeling it. I don't feel it. It's usually a lighter weight to feel it as I'm warming up. Once okay. I'm warm, I don't feel it. It's a bit bizarre. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, if you start killing some of this, yeah, be smart. Be smart. Right now. You guys think I flew here to let you know? <laughs> or, or this is your future. <laughs> I'm good, don't worry. We're good. And yeah, we're breaking the cycle today, man. Yeah, let's go. We're breaking the cycle today. Yeah. 
Yeah, no ammonia no, no yet. Ammonia yet. <laughs> no adrenaline yet. I actually, which is bizarre, I don't know why, but you might see it in the video, I changed foot stance after I came off. Hmm. Yeah. So I had my feet tucked, then came off, put my feet out and flat, and then benched. Don't know why. Yeah, I would recommend that. <laughs> I'll keep them yeah. <laughs> I was saying to Adam earlier when I got here, like, um, for like six months straight when I was benching, every time I'd go for a PR, I'd spend like half an hour on the bench just watching Larry Wall's motivation videos. <laughs> just like, yeah, no just, just shouting in my, head, in my headphones, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I mean, when you love lifting, seeing others get big PR, oh, yeah, numbers. So good. So good. No, no high point like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really good, man. I mean, I'm excited to see you get this up. This is 6.35, and then the next shot will be 7. We'll take some ammonia for this, you know, make it fly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel good. Yeah, it looks really good. good. Yeah, keep so, those, don't, keep, don't change your feet stands now until you lose that. Training. I don't know, yeah. You know? I, mean, I literally just put my feet flat and lost all my tights, but I just pushed through it. felt good still. Still felt fine. I felt the whip more that time. I felt the whip a lot more that time, but you got it too, right? The thing is, you have so much stability yeah. from pressing big weights that yeah. even though it's a little whip, it might yeah. slow down your bar speed, but you're yeah. still getting it up. Yeah. You're yeah. still getting it up. So, like, with, with bench press, like, where did you find was, like, your main sticking point you had to overcome? Like, where, what was the weight that you hit and then took so long to get past it? Uh, I never had a point like that because I worked with a really great coach. Yeah. And to make my bench go up, it was a mixture of just dialing back the training frequency for the bench and the heavy singles, heavy triples, and doing what made sense for me. Because you're seeing that's so sensitive. Yeah. You bench every single week, and every single week you're going to a failure. <laughs> you're gonna hit a wall real quick. Talk to the wrong guy. <laughs> you know. So it really just came yeah. down to like, yeah. okay, not benching every single week heavy. Yeah. Now it's like maybe just one heavy session a month. Yeah. Right. And then the rest of the month is just volume. Yeah, volume. you know, and most most importantly for me, where I saw a big change is throwing up body weight. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just as you get thicker, rum increase decreases from the center. Yeah. You know, that range yeah. of motion you have to yeah. bend the bar is that much yeah. shorter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I was 25 pounds heavier, yeah. you know, it was all right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, brother? You doing all right? Yeah. Good stuff, man. Thank you, bro. How high, how high you going today? Uh, maybe seven. Maybe seven. Yes, sir. Hell oh, yeah, man. Please do. Please do, man. Um, yeah, I thought I knew you big deal. What's up? Um, see, with me, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I suppose it's just that Chad energy of like, I just, every time I walk in the gym, I just, I can't deload or like, I only hit a certain day of volume, I just, Mentally, I'm so addicted to the heavy press that I keep sending it. It's no good for me, though. Like, you're, you're correct. Like, I've, I've definitely, recently, like the last six weeks, I've definitely hit a wall where, like, I was trying to go for 310 kilo. Failed it, failed it, failed it. And then I got to a point where, like, I tried 290 kilo, failed that. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah. So, yeah, I think definitely it's all about, like you said, deloading correctly, following the correct plan, especially I'm a good coach. Yeah. Stuff like that helps massively. And, you know, I believe all programs work. If yeah. You stick to them. Yeah. But if you don't have a coach with you physically present to yeah, hold yeah. you accountable to sticking to whatever program it is that you're on, yeah. then it's very easy with an environment like this to get carried away. Yeah. Because you're doing this not just to get numbers, but because you enjoy it, you love it, yeah. it's fun. So the work that a coach has you do genuinely isn't the work you want to do. Yeah, of it's going to be sets of 10 or 8 or 5, and they're not going to be the failure, so you don't want to push yourself. But that volume, that gradual progression over 10, 12 weeks, where the coach's um, eyes are on you, mm -hmm. when you finally get to where you need to be, yeah. which at the end of the prep, not yeah. in the middle, sorry, not in the beginning, beginning of the middle, you know, it all comes together at the very end. Yeah. But from day one, like me and you, anyone that's part of thing is ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Like, we don't want to wait till 10, no. 12 weeks later. We want to go now. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. where it's like it's so important to, if you can, have a coach present. Yeah. Because if you send your program remotely, 
it's easy to just not do it. Yeah, and tell him that you did it. Be like, yeah, I follow that. Exactly. Yeah. You do just half of it. Yeah. You know, you work up to a top set, and then you waste all your energy. Like, I don't want to do the rest now. Yeah, for real. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like moments yeah. like that. So yeah. that's why every time I'm in prep for something serious, now providing like, I grind it with me every single session. But when I was prepping for a pop competition, I had my close friends with me every single session. Yeah. You know, and that's what got me to the top. Yeah. Um, and after the highest level, they all have the same thing in common. Yeah. You're talking about ball players that make millions of dollars there, they're coach press in every single yeah. session. You know? For that reason. Yeah. Make sure they do the work they're supposed to, not what they want to do. No, you're right. I agree. You know? But, I agree. but either way, <laughs> considering you're all natty. Julius yeah. had a similar pass to you right now. Yeah. He was yeah. in around 700 when he before he hopped on. Yeah. Now the guy is the strongest bench press of all time. So does it? I mean, obviously, I speak to a lot of strong benches. Um, you, you'll know Daniel, Daniel Ryhoff. Yeah. Um, so Daniel, Daniel is confident that I'll be the one to challenge Julius. Yes. As I'm gonna hop on. And uh, Levon. And Levon. Someone needs to jump into the arm wrestling world that has a dinosaur frame like you. Pick up the sport, love it, and challenge that guy because he's bored. <laughs> he's bored? No one's, no one's got a round on him in like how many years? Four or five well, how, years? How old is he? He's 30s, mid 30s. Well, so I mean, I've got years on him too. Yeah. I've got the years on him. You can start from now and then four years, five years from now, you could potentially be up there with him. I might have to send it. I might have to do it. And still bench. And still hit a world record bench. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Don't get this up. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's All smoke right. this. Yes, sir. First thing I noticed was the whip on the bar. It's a problem you get with a lot of like standard bars is they're not they're not designed to take this kind of weight at speed. And so obviously as you hit your chest, the whip will hit. And as you come off the chest and the whip hits back, it tends to bring you back down. But I was just saying like, I noticed as I was coming off, I was a bit lower down the bench. Um, so your hand up was super strong. And then I thought, why am I still this high? You know what I mean? So I had to come over. So that adjustment, like that was an extra like two, three seconds of static hold where it just sucks them out of me. But we'll go again. Yeah. We'll go again. For sure. And when you're up higher on the bench, unless you get into that position where your scapula is retracted and depressed properly, if that's off any bit, you don't have that strong foundation to press off of. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I'm probably going to adapt a slightly wider grip too. Yeah. Uh, just to try and counter out the whip. Um, so, because narrower grip obviously leaves more room for the whip, so probably go slightly wider on this grip here. Do you think? We're slightly wider, and when you're ready, we're ready, man. No problem. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Woo! Go with that. I'm excited. I mean, in my head, I wanted to come out of here and try and bench close to 700. Yeah. I just don't think it's possible on this bar. On this bar, it's a tall order. Very, very tall order. We had a proper power bar though, forget about it. Yeah, I actually think, of, I mean, I feel great. I actually feel super fresh, which considering my travel day yesterday, I'm, I didn't think I'd feel fresh at all, but I feel good. I, I left my house 4 a.m. UK time. Okay. Got to my place in Encino like 23 hours later. Jesus. So I didn't sleep at all on the flight, so. God damn. Yeah. That's a machine right there. Yeah, but Rice Krispies will carry me through. Yeah, Rice Krispies are good, bro. Yeah, Nutri Game, boy, don't forget that. No, I, I was telling Adam, the first thing I did when I got to the US, I mean, look, I'm a big guy, I love yeah. food. Right. So, first thing I did was I was like, yo, Uber Eats, McDonald's, I need to try it. What's it like over here? Let me see what it's like. And I'm not gonna lie, it, it didn't disappoint. 
Yeah, I brought the McDonald's here. It just has. Bro, the fries was good. I was like, yo. Yeah, it's addictive. Fresh. Yeah. So it's different yeah. in the UK. Yeah, bro. Is it like less salty? No, in the UK, it's like they shit them out and serve it to you, bro. That's literally how it is. Oh, wow. It's awful, bro. In the, in the UK, like, the fries are like soaking wet with the oh, oil and that's, soggy. And, that's yeah. gross. That's fucking gross. I need to take a leaf out of over here, though. Over here, it's good. Real yeah. good. Well, this is the uh, you know, OG of McDonald's yeah, right facts. here. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to, I mean, I've used a lot of wraps, a lot of wraps. But one thing about, like, I love how thick they are. Yeah, the thick is that wraps. It's so good, bro. Yeah. And same for the wrist wraps as well, because the wrists are like, about thick they are. They're not super long, are they? But they're Yeah, and again, like for you know, a bigger frame like yourself, we need custom wraps. For yeah, you. yeah. In fact, 20% longer might be good. Yeah. Right. That time? Yeah. All right. Do you know what I need, as dumb as it sounds? Do you ever have like um, well, actually, do you know what? From watching your videos, I don't think you have. Although you do wear headphones sometimes. Have you got like a go time song? Like where when it's on, you just know it's time to go. Yeah, I mean, there's like always a like, hate read, like some death metal tracks. Yeah, yeah, something like loud and. Mine's Mob really. Deep. What's that? Mob Deep. Mob Deep, really? Yeah, shook ones. Or Survival of the Fittest. Either or. Um, it's go time. Is it like the same song every time? Every single time. <laughs> so I think when it comes on, I just feel like my blood, my blood starts to run and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, that like that. The only thing about like filming for us is that we can't have that oh, yeah. atmosphere with the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does take a little fun out of it. But that's you know what got me so in love yeah. with the sport is glasses of good music. You know? Come on! Let's go. Get it. Go. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yep, let's go. Alright. first attempt, you tend to mentally go, okay, what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? So then I made sure I was hurt at the bench. I made sure my feet were in place. I made sure I braced. It felt better when I came off. And that's why when it whipped, I was able to stay stable and push through. Um, but I think seven's going to be a tall order on this bar. Yeah. Now, if we had a better bar, like you said, I mean, if you just give it a little wiggle there. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it's like a spaghetti bar. But... For under 500, it's all right. Yeah, under 500, yeah. no problem. Yeah. So you have, I think, a surprise incline trick. That yeah, you I think share what we'll us. do now, we'll do a drop set. A drop set, okay. To like five plates. Yeah. Uh, we'll just send the reps. Okay. And then we'll go to incline. Fantastic, good. Oh yeah. Larry hasn't had a Rice Krispie treat since he met me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't want to smell one right now. That's it, bro. That's the cheat code. God, yeah. That right there. They're not even full size, though. What, you can get bigger than this? Yeah, of course. Oh, we can get one big as your head, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, that's, a, that's why America's crazy. I like it out here, though. I feel like it's built for me. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is super sized out there. Yeah, if you're trying to pop, yeah, this is the place to be. Was that 635? 635, yeah. I might go up to 660, 300 kilo, just send it on the bar. 660? On this bar, we recommend it. This bar, I can't, I can't recommend this bar. <laughs> if you had a regular bar, I would say no problem. The six, that 635 was a grind. Another 25 yeah, pounds. If I pull myself a pussy three times, it's like an instant 25 pound boost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? If I pull myself a pussy three times, oh, it's a boost. <laughs> 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 I have to be the voice of reason here. Yeah. Five plays for extra. 
yeah. I don't want to have the Chris Larry wheels <laughs> take effect today. Bro, you're fine. You're fine. I didn't even know there but, was a curse of Larry wheels pre no, prior to this. I think it's just because yeah. that video that everyone's seen of the incline, yeah. everyone's like, oh my god, but Better. in my opinion, no. From me watching that video, and I've watched it a lot of times, the reason he got injured is because his grip was completely off. If you watch the video back, his arm, where he tears, is like past the 90 degree point. So rather than being locked through the forearm, he's actually wider, and then this arm's slightly more in, so he comes off like this at an angle, and that's what causes the tear. See, man, that's activation. None of us watching the video you watch it, you see. to focus on because of the grotesque <laughs> yeah. injury that happened. Mm -hmm. But that's a great activation. Yep. Here we go. Oh, it's light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. Well He's done. super good. Nine Woo. minutes after two attempts to 635. Pretty fucking good. Right. I'm ready for incline. Yeah, me too, man. Ready well, for incline too. Do you do incline often? I do only incline now. Because uh, I have an overdeveloped lower chest. So wow. Coach's order, I gotta not do this. <laughs> yeah, my upper, which is working. Cool. Yeah. How do you find this working with your strength like, on bench overall? Well, you feel the stronger incline as you do on flat? Uh, well, I haven't been uh, testing the boundary of incline yeah. at all. <laughs> and I've been doing it like my elbows slightly flared, not super tucked in, yeah. so I get a better contraction. So I'm mean, using a lot less weight yeah. than I would have in the past. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. But the strength is still there, man. Surprisingly so. Yeah, he's strong. I almost wanted to do this, but I'm not gonna. I haven't had five weeks in a month. It's not a good idea. I mean, don't ask me because my body feels. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask. But if you call yourself a pussy, how many times? Three times. <laughs> Just three times. Three times is enough. I'm, not, I'm happy with that, but I'm not happy with that. Well, keep in mind the bar. Yeah. You know, but I feel like a pussy just saying the bar, you know? <laughs> well, what you're about to go on the incline, I think is going to be Yeah, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun right here. Yeah. The most common question I get, especially about the clapping, is what do you do when you fail? I'm like, don't know because I haven't failed yet. <laughs> so, we'll find out one day. Yeah, Hopefully okay. not. Like, yeah. what do you do if your parachute doesn't open? Yeah. You don't get a touch of It's funny because, <laughs> obviously, it's, it's such a risky thing to do. Um, and there's, there's no muscular gain for this. There's no, it's just a show. Um, but, like, I'm, everyone saw the Bradley Martin video, right? 60 kilo when he first did it. Yeah. That's where a lot of people got it from. But I was doing it like six years ago in, my leg, in like a legislative gym on 60 kilo just for fun. And then last year I was like, I'm gonna just see what I can do with it. So I, I was doing flat and I got up to like 235, 250 pounds of flat. And then I thought, let me try incline because I, I really like incline, it's like my favorite bench movement. Um, and then my incline just went, up, 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 we didn't stop. I just I could I could always clap, but it's like I said. There's do not try this. Don't, don't try this at home, please. Yeah, please. But, you can say that again. <laughs> do not try that at home. A lot of people think that it's to do, like I said, with power and strength. But same time, a lot of this is just to do with technique, and I've I've kind of learned that technique over time to be able to do it with heavier weight. So, you know, it's crazy for a big bench presser. Typically, a lot of thick lower chest. But you actually have a. I do, cool a, nice I, do, I do a lot of incline. Yeah, I love incline. I mean, my shoulder press is pretty good. My shoulder press is about uh, 515 pounds. Shoulder press? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, the first time I did shoulders with you, that was the thing that I was the most impressed with. Yeah, your shoulder press is The strength really of the shoulders is insane. Yeah. Shoulder press is pretty good. I, mean, I, think, I think what I find is if you've got a super good shoulder press or incline press, they both carry over. That's right, they do. They both carry over. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I always train them both at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I do is I do speedy partials until I explode up. 
So the, the aim is to build momentum there until you explode in a clap. Not that you're going to try this, so don't play. <laughs> but that's what I did. Thanks to know. Something new to learn. Okay. Yep. I mean, I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's nerve wracking. <laughs> that's scary. That's pretty, that's pretty scary. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It makes me nervous, man. Yeah. I have anxiety right now. <laughs> Everyone that I do it with, like Mike, my training partner, he's like, what do you want me to do <laughs> if, I don't, if you don't catch it? I'm like, just watch. <laughs> There's nothing you can that's do. terrible. At least on it's an like incline. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna go down. Yeah. It's gonna go down. Yeah. Better than yeah. on a flat. Than yeah. Yeah. It's not going up. It's going yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the lesser evil. Yeah. Is mean, that why you don't do it on flat? Or you just do it here. So what I found is doing it on flat, I struggle to get the same explosiveness that I do on incline, and I guess that's just because of the angle change to the top chest as opposed to being wider. I find I'm way more explosive here than here, so it's easier for me to do an incline. Hundred huh. percent. Do you want children someday? I've got two. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got two boys. <laughs> they say, we should go to decline. Then. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give me a hand over? Yeah, not yet. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yep. Yep. Mine. Oh, I need to go a bit wider. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> yep. Good. All right. Oh. <laughs> so I had to adjust because I came too close, I had to adjust midway. I mean, that's adjustment. You're pretty quick with the clap, too. Yeah. I did not think those big arms could move that fast. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly trying to master it. Yep. Yep. Come on! <laughs> like holding my breath every time you go. I feel like I'm eight for like five years. I'm watching. Some white hairs on my beard. So, I mean, it looks easy, but I don't know what's hard. But. Um, it feels like I'm getting close to the limit today, but I'm, I think I've got 315. I hope you know you have 315. <laughs> Baker was uh, trying to get the seat lower and I interjected and said I wouldn't recommend that because in my experience and from watching other powerlifters before they attempt a big PR either I'll be at the gym or in the competition they'll make a last minute change yeah. and that's when people make mistakes is yeah. that even if it's not optimal or yeah. maybe it doesn't feel the best doesn't yeah. feel right you know if you've been warming up the whole day the whole workout with the same setup and you change it yeah. last minute on the top set yeah so it's a recipe for disaster yeah you know you are right i think especially like a lot of powerlifters they treat the warm-up like it's their top set that's right and everything stays the same all the way through yeah um i'm just slightly off the hinge and tops. Yeah, um, yeah it's, and what happens too, like when you get a little bit in your head about it, you feel like, ah, uh, maybe I should change it. Yeah, yeah. Because maybe you're not 100% confident. Yeah, yeah. But that's normal. So yeah. I was, when you feel that, just keep it the same. Yeah. Next time, when you're warming up, next workout, whenever that is, then change what you want to change. Yeah, yeah. But never at the top set at the last minute. Oh, let's do some dumb shit, man. All right. Mm. Oh. Come on. Yep. Just catch it. Just catch it. Come on. <laughs> you Going it. up. You know. Come on, man. You should catch it and curl it. Oh <laughs> my God! Great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Try the other bicep. All right. Come on. Yep. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Yep. Come on, get yep. it ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. Right. Yep. 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 You just own that 
Well done, dude. Wow. Yeah. I've seen some crazy shit, but that's off the top of my list right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have the ball to do that. You know, and like, um, it's crazy because it's like you said about just, just the confidence to do it, the differences. I've built confidence for that over six years. It's, I've built that over time. Um, like, it's like I said to you, like, Mike, who's like a 600 pound bencher, when he gets an incline, bro, he won't even deal with the bar. He's like, no, I refuse, because it's just that mental blockade of attempting it so much. Um, but at the same time, nobody should try that. Leave it to me. Yeah. Leave it to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll put up the show for you guys. Like, yeah. You live by care. As long as, so the aim, the aim is to do it with 180 kilos. Yeah. Now, please. Place. Wow. So I can do it with I can do it with 155 at the moment and when I feel fresh I felt like I had more in the tank on the day. So I did it with 155 and I felt like I probably had 165 in me. Um, but I didn't send it on the day just because we'd already fatigued a little. But I think fresh on the day if I send just incline, I think I've probably got 165, 170 in me right now to do it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I mean, what, are you tempted to go to so, uh, half? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yep. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Bro, what a showman. It was good. I think I'm a top out there though. Yeah, please. Top out there. Yeah, let's draw the line somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Beautiful, man. Good. I mean, uh, we narrowly escaped this workout with our lives. Uh, after seeing this, that was... Of all the craziest stuff I've seen over the last decade of doing what I do, that's probably the most risky. I mean, it is, I suppose the best way to say it is, it's super risky if you don't know it. Right. Um, because I've done it so much, I know it so well, for me, I'm pretty comfortable. But for anyone else, 100% stay away, don't do it. Don't do it. Because one wrong move, you're losing a neck, jaw, teeth. So, but at the same time, it's super fun. <laughs> That's what gym's about, right? It's about enjoying yeah, yourself. So. That's true. I mean, I've done my fair share of acts just for yeah. attention with the yeah. double barbell thing. I've yeah. seen well, I've done all So, of weirdly shit. enough, my top, I've done 120 kilos on one arm and incline. Wait, barbell? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, like this one? Yeah, barbell, 120 on one arm. That's fucking good. That's pretty good. You know what? Should we do it? At the end of the year. Uh, sure? Yeah, yeah. on a good note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're testing our luck here with that. Uh, yeah. I was just thinking two plates for a rep bar on one arm. Two plates? Hmm. Wait, how many times did you do that? I've done it five previously. Really? Yeah. That's actually really impressive. <laughs> Shit, okay then. I mean, I don't feel that. I just about yeah. seeing that. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not, it's not too yeah. crazy. So I've only ever done that one rep. On flat. I never even like, thought about doing it on the ink. That's just taking it to a whole another place. <laughs> yeah. How many fuels? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So, guys, like I've said. I've never seen anyone even try this on incline. I've seen it on flat with two blades for one rep. No, um, it's a guy called Dream. You want to know Dream? Yeah. Uh, Dream, Dream, yeah. yeah. Dream, so. I want to say he's done incline two plate. I know he does flat as well, but I think he's done incline two plate. For five reps? No, not for five reps. I was going to say. What? For like two or three. But I mean, I said. I didn't know that. Awesome. Yeah, dude, the two 28 year olds uh, uh, that are like healthy don't have any fears, you know? <laughs> the 44 year old who's torn everything yeah. is looking going, it's a bad idea. So, what, what do you think? This is a bad idea? That's a terrible idea. Are you ready? Let's I, go. Think, I think you should do it. <laughs>
Did you bring me over? Yeah. Ready? Two. One. Yep. Like that? Yep, my bar. Your bar? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. Come on, Baker. Oh, oh. We good, we good. <laughs> yeah. You good? I'll bring it out. Yeah, bring it out a bit. Fixed reps too. That's super impressive. That's not that very impressive. I haven't seen that before. And you just went straight to two plates after doing everything we just did. Yeah, but since I'm warm, as long as I'm warm, I'm good. I feel like you, in order to do this, you have to be this massive. Big. Yeah, so uh, the biggest yeah. challenge is as soon as you bring that weight over to one side, <laughs> if you haven't got the mass, you just fall off the bench. You know? Yeah, this I You'll either fall off the bench or tear back. But because I'm so big, it's easier for me to hold and then stable myself so I can do it. Man, that's unreal. Now, Thank being you. a bodybuilding coach right now, I feel like you need to do the other side, dude. What's happened to the symmetry? <laughs> I'm left dominant, so you know what? It's fine. Well, that's no, why don't do it. your one peck is tight. <laughs> Back on the head. That would be exactly yeah. why. Uh, yeah. So yeah. basically, you can definitely do probably a 250 pound dumbbell press because yeah. you just did the barbell significantly mm -hmm. harder yeah. than a dumbbell press. So you could probably easily do the 250s. I'd like to try this. I might, while I'm here, go to Gold's Gym and just mess around a little. See what there is. I mean, they have those 330 pound golden dumbbells. Yeah. But. I hate you, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm good, I'm not that good. So, yeah. But when you go back home and you get that edge that you're missing right now, yeah. then make your second round here yeah. and you will press it. I think, obviously, like, the biggest difficulty out here is just keeping my nutrition the yeah. way I normally would. Right. Um, just because there's so much to do. And, like, new to this, I didn't realize LA was such a big place. I didn't realize California was so big, so traveling wise. But when I get home, it's time to start pushing some boundaries because I'm gonna put it out there Julius, I'm coming. Julius, I'm coming, I promise you. You know, but, I, but that rivalry is what we need to yeah. see the 800 pounds go down. Yeah. yeah, you know, we need, and you got that frame to do it, bro. Yeah, he was around your size. I'm yeah. not just was so the I, think, I think right now he's weighing about. 395, 390. I think it's 450. Okay. No, I think he lost some weight, didn't he? And he started building up again. I want to say he's about 395. Um, maybe, maybe 400. Um, but obviously he's he's planning to go for 800 in about seven weeks. Um, he put a post up the other day saying that he wants to go for it in about seven to eight weeks. So, but if he gets it, it just means I've got to do 805. That's how I think. Oh, so. shit. That's how I think, man. So I've been thinking about like throwing Eddie all over again, but with the bench. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see you up there, man. A lot of people know. I mean, look, a lot of people compare me to Eddie. Obviously, I'm from the UK. But Eddie did 300 kilo on bench in a bench shirt. I did it in wraps. So and you did it all natural. On natural. <laughs> oh, natural. Yeah. Well done, man. Honestly, thank you. One of the most impressive individuals we've had thank here you. on the channel. Thank you. So it's our privilege to host you. Thank you very much. And grateful for the opportunity. I'm happy to put that curse on the ground. Yeah. All right. It's no longer valid. That curse is gone. Look, like, especially what he just did today. I mean, look what I did today, and I'm not injured. Yeah. I'm good. He did a one arm barbell press. He did a clap bench press with 315. The man is unschemed. <laughs> well, actually, we did a clap bench with 335. 335. Thank you for correcting me. Yeah. So. On that note, we're gonna wrap it right here. Please follow this on his journey. He's about to throw in that edge. That's fun. Take enough. you to that eight plus club that That's no one has ever ventured to before. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? If anyone's gonna go on with potential as you have, it makes absolute sense. Thank you very much. When you have the potential to be number one of yeah. all time, yes. yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I know this sounds, it sounds slightly morbid, almost a bit like out of the loop, but um, there's that classic saying that I would rather live 50 years and leave a legacy. And look, I know the way I eat, the way I train isn't the best for my health. And I don't recommend this to anyone. 
but my mindset is fixated on the idea that my children will tell stories about me, not that I'll live to 80 and have an average life. It's never been my intent. So if I can live 50, 55 years, but for 100 years after they tell stories about me, then cool, that's fine with me. And that's the intent. So, I mean, people think that I'm switched on right now. There's a few more levels to go yet. That's fantastic. So, you had your kids already too, so get that out the yep, way. That's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yep. What do you think about that decision, Ryan? So you shake your head over there. I mean, let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. You heard the man. So follow him. Link down below. Baker um, Instagram. You got yeah, channel too, Big right? Boy Baker on Instagram. Yes, sir. And my YouTube is just uh, Baker the Jim Reaper. Um, yeah, thank you. And for the wraps we're using today are PR wraps, the camera ones. We got four different colors. We have the classic series restocking next week. So please check out the website for that. That's including the original strap, figure eight wrap, and we also have knee wrap in back of stock too black and neon green so see you on the next one and shout out to fitness mania for hosting us today yeah, and right everyone here. here being a part of the hype thank you boys yeah. We asked for the hype, you guys supplied it, made the energy in here electric. Yeah, Much appreciated, and we'll see you soon. Peace.